Now we just fire it up, get those tubes nice and super cold, flip the fan on, and it just blasts out the cold air. All right, here it is. Got the ice block in there. It's blasting out the cold air, mid-50s right now. Water is flowing through nice and smooth. You can see that's the outlet, and the pump's kind of buried down there beneath it. It's an 80-watt fan. I got it to the 100-watt panel outside. I'm not sure if I can get a good shot of it, but it's that panel right there. So that's the power source. Right now it's putting out about 57, 58 degree Fahrenheit air. This has got to be one of the best I've made. With the heat exchanger and the large ice box, it's really working good. I'm literally standing here freezing in front of it. That's no joke. With that amount of ice and cold water pumping through there, and that strong 1500 CFM fan right now on solar going full blast, it's freezing. It's totally cool in this room. That's basically the items needed right there. Just choose your pump, bilge, or standard AC or DC one. Your car radiator fan, 7 inch car radiator fan, small piece of plywood that's about 10 by 12. Uh, two 2 by 4s cut 11 inches high. The 8 by 8 heat exchanger, and a couple of the hose barbs with an uh, interconnecting piece of uh, PVC coupler. And that's basically it. And then, of course, the tub to hold the ice water. Then you just drop the fan assembly on. Here's a quick shot to show it like half slid in, but it just slides in. Then finally, just to give it kind of a finished look, I'm going to throw a one inch square dowel underneath it and screw it on. Now we got to do is flip it on and it blasts out the cold air. You got the two gallon jugs in the ice block in there, a little bit of water. It's pumping through these one inch pipes into a heat exchanger in the back, so like a small radiator. And then I got the actual seven inch car radiator fan blowing. Hooked up to solar power. Awesome. Almost immediately it gets cool within like 20 seconds. Guaranteed, if you make this one and load it up with ice like that, you won't be disappointed. cool the whole room, totally. A lot of them just are like space coolers, well this one cools the space of an entire room. The only thing that's negative about it at all is the ice is going to melt and you got to keep putting in either cold water or ice. So remember to keep a few gallons of water in the fridge along with the frozen stuff in the uh, freezer and this thing lasts like twice as long if you do that. As a matter of fact, if you don't want it to be really freezing air, you can just use cold water from the fridge. Just keep a lot of water in there. Here's a quick shot to show you a speed controller hooked up to it. So you got the solar panel coming in, and you just put it through the controller and then over to the fan. So as far as the pump options, you could do a bilge pump, 350 or 500 GPH, -er, that's on the low end for those, or just a standard aquarium pump, that's a 120 AC, 200 GPH, -er, 
or you can go with the 12 volt DC if you want to do the solar or battery option. That's a 190 GPH. -er. Don't go any lower than about 190 or 200 though. That seems to be the perfect flow. And a little more would be okay too. 350 or maybe as high as 500. By the way, best way I know of to go from the inch pipe to the half inch pipe is these three pieces. Half inch barbed to inch threaded and inch threaded to inch barbed. And then you use a piece of PVC that's threaded on both sides. So the unit itself is about $40 for that, about $14 for that, that's $54, and maybe $10 bucks for the pump. So $64. And the thing cools like an air conditioner with no humidity, no extra humidity. actually takes it out if it beads up, turns it into water. You might be thinking, ah, this thing costs like $65, $70 to build. But remember, this thing works just as well as a heater as a cooler, so you can use it all year round. Just add the warm water into the tub instead of the cold, and you don't have to change anything other than that, and it'll become a heater. By the way, one advantage of this over like the evap cooling is this doesn't add any humidity at all to the air. Zero. Actually takes some out if there's any uh, water that beats up on the copper. I tightened up the connections a little bit, so less air bubbles now. One last thing, as far as cost, I just did the calculations on the AC pump. It's 12 water, so over 30 days, it's about 54 cents. For every 15 cents a kilowatt hour, it comes out to 54 cents total. As far as the freezing the ice in your freezer, since you probably just use the one in the kitchen, it's about $1.50, a maximum $2 total cost to freeze several ice blocks and the ice jugs every day for 30 days. So $1.50 to $2 for the ice on the cost, $0.54 for the pump. And it's an 80-watt fan, but I'm doing DC solar, so that doesn't even apply. And you could do the solar on the pump, too. Matter of fact, you could do the ice on the solar, too, if you want. i got some earlier videos on that, but assuming you're going to use your fridge, $1.50 to $2 for all the ice you need for the month. A 12 watt pump, which, which will do it. That's 54 cents. Figuring on the high end at 15 cents. Um, 15 cents a kilowatt hour. And an average of running this 10 hours a day. And the fan. It's free. Solar. That's kind of a weird phenomenon. I turned that off a couple minutes ago, but there's just a constant flow of bubbles. From the pump.